Hi friends, welcome to Storytime with Tristan. Join me today as we read The Hidden Spaceship, written by Serena Lang Ferrari and illustrated by Luis Perez. One, two, three, can you see the bumblebee? Four, five, six, can you see it on those sticks? Seven, eight, nine, can you see it on the pine? Amelia and Noah sing as they run along the trail into the secret forest. Amelia notices something strange and interesting sticking out from behind some trees. Holding hands, they shuffle closer. A flashing beam of light shines toward them. A spaceship, exclaims Amelia. Suddenly, the spaceship door slides open. This looks like fun. Amelia jumps into the spaceship. Noah isn't so sure but follows her anyway. Instantly, the door slides shut. With a great clunk, the spaceship blasts off into space. Before long, Amelia and Noah are in space. They gaze out at the stars and planets. This is incredible, says Amelia. What's happening? Noah looks scared as the spaceship begins to tremble and shiver and creak. Then it dives into a black hole. Crash, smash, bang, ouch! I've bumped my bum, says Noah. I think we've landed, Amelia whispers. The door slides open. Together, they step outside. A magical looking world surrounds them. There are lush green plants and brightly colored flowers. Strange alien creatures roam free on the land. Welcome, my name is Ula Lumpa and this is Planet RC. I sent the spaceship to collect you and fly you here. Ula Lumpa says. I've brought you to our planet to give you a special task. Look through our telescope at planet Earth. It's falling apart. The sea is full of plastic. The Amazon forest has been destroyed. The air is badly polluted. You are not taking care of your planet, says Ula Lumpa. But children like you from all over the world are the key to saving your planet. Us? Amelia and Noah glance at each other. Really? We have treasure, the alien says. Treasure for you to take home that can help save planet Earth. This treasure belongs to you. It is hidden in a cave and you must go and find it. He hands them a map and two shovels. These will help you on your quest. But you must be careful, he adds. One of the animals may not be very friendly as the humans caused its extinction on Earth thousands of years ago. Good luck. Amelia and Noah follow the paths shown on the map. Each one twists and turns and takes them further away from the spaceship. At last, they see the cave surrounded by icy snow. They run, then tiptoe towards the entrance. Inside, there's no sound. There's only darkness and cold. The map shows the treasure is hidden where an X is painted on the ground. The ground is hard and heavy. They scrape and shovel and scoop until finally a treasure chest appears. Together they manage to pull the chest out. Before they can open the lid, there's a noise. It comes from deep inside the cave. The noise comes again, a terrible trumpeting. It's getting closer. Through the darkness, two yellow eyes glitter. Two enormous curved tusks shine bright through the gloom. Ah! It's a monster! screams Amelia. It's a woolly mammoth! shouts Noah. They run past Ulalumpa, back through the magical looking world, and finally to the spaceship. There's no trace of the woolly mammoth. Breathless, Amelia and Noah heave the chest into the spaceship and open the lid. They find lots of different kinds of seeds to plant and a letter. Reuse and recycle, use less plastic, plant a vegetable garden, and eat local fruits and vegetables. Walk or use bicycles to get around instead of cars. If every person does something, even if it's very small, you can help save the planet. Amelia and Noah look upwards through the spaceship windows. They admire the moons that gleam above them. They feel so tired that they fall asleep. A thunderstorm wakes them. Rain drip drops onto their faces. They find themselves lying on the trail into the secret forest, right back where their adventure began. The letter and seeds are still clasped in their fingers. The end. So what do you think Amelia and Noah will end up doing with the letter and seeds they received? 
This book is a great reminder to us that it's up to each one of us to take care of the earth. We can find ways to help protect the earth by doing things like recycling, reducing our waste, and planting trees. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Special thanks to Serena Lane Ferrari for granting permission to read aloud The Hidden Spaceship. Make sure to check out serenalaneferrari.com to check out more books written by Serena, such as The Butterfly Inside and Saving Tally. You can also check them out right here on Storytime with Tristan. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. Click the description below to find out how you can purchase today's book. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.